Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's video I'm coming to you with the first Thursday of the month for April 2021. Ah, I know, I know, it's kind of like a week late but I did that on purpose for two reasons. One, last Thursday was Easter Thursday and it was very, very busy for me. Um, and last, last Thursday I did not have our room set up as you can see right here. Um, my regulars would already know what's going on today, but for the newbies who have joined us this week, welcome! And if you've joined us today, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe because the only way you can go ahead with what's going to happen soon is to be a subscriber. Ah, very exciting! What's going to happen in this video vlog? Okay. What is going to happen? If you um, haven't joined us on our lives, 4 p.m. Wednesday afternoons or uh, 10 a.m. Saturday mornings, Melbourne, Australia time that is, if you haven't joined us there, you won't know what's going on. But it's okay because I'm going to explain it all in this vlog right here, video blog, whatever you want to call it, right now. And I'm not editing anything today, guys. I might, you know, a little bit. <laughs> Some parts where I go, uh, 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 you might see that edited, um, but most of it I'm not going to edit. Why do I not edit first Thursday of the month? Because I like to keep that um, video as a more relaxed video for you guys to see, I suppose, the other side of me where it's not strictly business, it's not strictly crochet, it can be a little bit of fun and a little bit of silliness as well. But I'm sorry, there's no bloopers though. <laughs> I, I was in such a hurry to get everything on the shelves, I didn't even record it. I started recording part of a shelf over there and then that was it, five minutes of recording and then I don't know what happened, I turned it off and then forgot all about it. <laughs> so no bloopers today guys, but there is a video coming up, some fun video coming up, that's coming up very soon, give them another week or so, two weeks, mm, I'm not telling you what it is, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming very soon. In the meantime, what's this video all about? It's normally about what's happened in the past month here at Wow Crochet Designs, what's going to happen next month, plus, you know, some of the items that I've purchased in between as well. I'm not going to do that in this video. I am. I'm going to do the past items and the future items, but I'm not going to talk about all the other items that I purchased over the past month because I want to focus this video on our craft room now as you know guys this room was set up again over easter and um i didn't get the opportunity to do a video of the room so this is what this video vlog is going to be about just the craft room now heads up guys it's not organized yet it's still a bit of a disheveled mess it will get better oh, maybe <laughs> might get worse um knowing me <laughs> Just to let you know what you guys will be seeing every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. and every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time, you will see all of this. Things will change in between. They will, there will be different things added. There will be things taken off. As you can see, some of my favourite items are on show. Um, oh, where is, um, there it is. <laughs> There's Guy <laughs> and my tea cosy, which is my favourite item. The tea cosy is my favourite item here at Well Crochet Designs. Now, we produce some amazing um, top quality blankets and tops and beanies and scarves um, and, I don't know, tissue box covers and all sorts of weird things. But funnily enough, that tea cosy currently is my favourite. I haven't had a favourite since. <laughs> So when I get, I did, I, I, I tell a lie, I tell a lie. The kaleidoscope blanket um, that you guys probably see right now on your screen. <laughs> and that one there, that was my favourite blanket to create uh, over the past few years. So we created one of those. And, and as often as I can pop in um, blankets and things, I still found that this guy here was my favourite. I don't know why, it just was. It's one of those things. Um, anyway, let's get on with what's happening in this video. First thing I'm going to do is let you see the craft room. And when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, a mystery giveaway. Uh, get excited. Check out the room and I'll meet you back here in a moment. Alrighty, guys. This section of the room I don't usually show in camera. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little bit of a disheveled mess at the moment. 
I've got some yarn. Look at this. This yarn is actually hanging out of the bag. <laughs> so I'm, I am working on that one. I didn't mean to yell on the camera there, guys. Sorry. Um, but there you go. Look how tall this cabinet is. What? <laughs> There's even room on the top. <laughs> See that box right there? I only just reach up on my tippy toes to put that box in the shelf. Not that I'm short or anything. <laughs> We wouldn't want anybody to think that, now would we? <laughs> so down the bottom in the future, you will see tubs. Tubs, tubs, tubs galore. I don't know if I can get around here now. I'm trying to get around here. I'm sorry about the carpet. It's not the best carpet in the world. We have to have that replaced. So oh, I'm on an angle. I'm sorry. This is why I'm recording on an angle. And I'm in front of the uh, lighting, which I'll show you the lighting in a moment. Oh, look, there's the doll. <laughs> <laughs> and my hand cream <laughs> oh let's come back down here and as you can see there is nothing on the bottom shelf here okay i am going to be filling all these shelves up eventually this is the center of the cabinet where you guys see in the live all right and there's guy hi guy now i just wanted to show you quickly this yarn right here oh, i'm sorry i'm standing in the light right here is the same yarn i used to create guy now i managed to find that yarn through trying to organize this room which is great up there is our little bag that we made here on the channel last year um and the uh hot water bottle is right there <laughs> of course i've got some pins and obviously i still haven't filled up look at all the shelving i need to fill up oh my gosh so many um and there's the easter bag for those of you who haven't seen the easter bag it's got like sections in there okay uh, and there's the Noro yarn. Like I said, I haven't cleaned up anything. I've just popped things on shelves and hoped for the best. And you know this yarn, don't you? <laughs> and of course, there's some of our Tandy yarn that we, we purchased or I purchased some. Some were gifted to me by family as well. So I'm very excited about that, which is the persimmon that you see right here. How gorgeous is that? Um, we are using the Hedgeberry Red that little red you see in there for our jumper that's coming up on the channel uh, and down here we've got a lot of bendigo cotton um, and also a lot of the wren cotton that we use to create the easter bag with okay so we've got different sections everywhere i like to keep my cotton more or less on the shelf here so that's going to change in the future because i use the cotton more than i use wool okay and that bag that you see there is from bendigo woolen mills in there is a um, a set of bags i think there's about 10 of them and i use them when i go yarn shopping and i fill them up with the yarn that i purchase on the day so there you go that's that now let me get around this way and get you to show you the whole system i'm sorry about the lighting guys because i'm standing in the way of the lighting and over here we have both our um, mannequins now as you know this particular piece right here we made last year oh was it last year yes it was we made this one last year you'll see me wearing that now that autumn has um, arrived here or fall as some countries say here in Melbourne Australia so you'll see me wearing that top over shirts and um, skivvies and tops okay and this thing I know it's the weirdest little outfit oh my in the lighting I'm sorry guys look at that look at that your arms go in here <laughs> I'm sorry your arms go in there and it's all open to the sides there I wore this particular outfit I know it's the weirdest thing I created it for um, Moomba and actually I'll just show you a picture of it right now Oh, can you see that? Wow, wackadoo schmackadoo. Anyway, that's what I wore at Moomba here in Australia. Oh, I think it was 2014. I seriously cannot remember how long ago it was. But there you go. And that's what it looks like up front or close up. Over here, we have a cabinet that I still haven't filled up. This was my, oh, hang on a minute. I forgot all about Al. Ah, Dreamcatcher. We made this guy last year. Um, but my subscribers, regulars, would already know that. Over here is the leaf, leaves, I should say, and feathers and more leaves. And, of course, the little birdie on top, which is all squashed up there. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. And up the top here, 
as you know uh, I keep a lot of my yarn that I don't like to have out on the shelf covered and yes you've seen these before <laughs> <laughs> these are my giveaway hats you may see that on me after you never know oh oops am i giving away something <laughs> who knows and over here we have in here we have stacks and stacks of buttons um in all four drawers it's actually a jewelry thing but i keep my buttons in there which is still not big enough as you can see i've got some buttons up the top and some they are in tubs as well <laughs> Down here I have some of my crochet books and my strong woman book if you're not sure what that is Check it up. Um, read up on it. It's all about, you know, keeping strong um, How women can keep strong and keep themselves physically fit. I used to do that a long time ago I don't do it as much anymore these days. I think I'm old. <laughs> don't tell anyone <laughs> And here's some more yarn that I still haven't filled up and as you can see I still need to fill up the cabinets and that paperwork you see is this cabinet all together i can't even fit it all in i'm trying right there that my son put together for me how cool is this system i love 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 it will get filled up and um, i've got so many more skeins or skeins of yarn in tubs and they will fill up the top shelves that you see right there now let's talk about what happens when i go live i sit right there on that chair and as you can see oh what did I see in the corner there hello hello let's go over here let's have a quick look Tim Tams gee I wonder what they're for mm, now let me see <laughs> so this is our tissue box cover that we made here at Wow Crochet I will leave links to all of the projects that you see today in the description box down below so that you can actually have a look see and maybe make your own um, that you see here today so this blanket right here is our five point star blanket I use that at the back of my chair occasionally I swap blankets around and I pop our sunshine bright blanket which you can see right here uh, and sometimes I pop the blanket um, the kaleidoscope blanket which we made here on uh, well crochet designs as well now um, okay what are underneath the blankets <laughs> more tubs <laughs> and more yarn and they will come out and they will go up on shelves as you can see there <laughs> now why do I have tubs near me well I need to gra grab a table like a side table on this side and a side table on the other side so one side holds obviously the tissues um, and my projects for the week I'm sorry this side holds my coffee <laughs> um, and obviously any odds and ends that um, are needed throughout the live and on this side and you'll probably notice this is the book I use during the live that I write up all the things that you guys talk about during the live there's our swatch uh, blanket swatches I've um, just done this particular tutorial video here usually I pack it up and put it away and get it ready for the next swatch now let me show you um, the actual lighting there's one Okay, that one is kept really tall. I can't get all the way down. <laughs> um, and you've got the stand. That stand is where I pop my camera right there. Okay, so the stand, the camera goes right in that little section there. So it stands right there. It's not an expensive stand. It's, you know, relatively cheap. You can get nice cheap ones. Um, and there's another light. And as you can see, let's go from a bit of a distance. There you go. You've got your two lights. One is up tall. And one is down a little bit low and usually that one there is facing more that way but just for the purpose of this video I'm facing oops too much I'm gonna face it this way all right so they stand literally there under my chair is um, some odds and ends these are the things that you don't see me do during the live I toss things under the chair and then the hour later or after the live I pick them all up and clean up the room again so this is the room guys so there you go how cool is this little space right here ah <laughs> pretty exciting stuff it really is well it is for me and in honor <laughs> you're loving this now aren't you in honor of opening our craft corner right? craft naughty corner if you will um in honor of opening our naughty corner look guys for those of you joining us new you're not sure what our naughty corner is 
This is the corner that naughty people go into during our lives when they're naughty. <laughs> oh, we have some naughty subscribers. It happens. Um, <laughs> but it's all in fun. We have a lot of fun on our lives. Very relaxed on the lives. Yours truly makes a whole lot of ooh, bumble mistakes, you know, I jibber and jabber. I don't know what I'm saying half the times. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We have a lot of fun. And sometimes we have too much fun and sometimes... I put my foot in it and I end up having to create things <laughs> that I shouldn't have been creating. Let's talk quickly about that before we get on with the giveaway. What? They're saying what? <laughs> Just quickly, let's have a chat with what we were supposed to do in January, February and March. And I say that because January, we're up to date with January, except there was one item in January that we were supposed to create. And one of our subscribers, let's just call her Katie Han. <laughs> oh, did I mention your name? What? <laughs> um, was the one who enticed me a little bit to create this top for the Mr. Harry Styles. And we still haven't created it. And we are making that in the next two weeks. <laughs> what? Not this week coming. <laughs> the week after we're starting it. <laughs> But we are definitely doing that over the next month. So that will be finished. And we will post that off to the Mr. Harry Styles just for fun. He's very lucky. He's getting a freebie. <laughs> I don't give away my tops. But anyway, so that's what we're doing for the Mr. Harry Styles. And at the same time, we are doing a tutorial here for the same top. I may adjust it a little bit because the top that I'm making is a little bit more technical and so I might just make it a little bit basic until we get to the love heart which is going to sit right here on his chest. Oh. Ah, there you go. So that is the top that we are going to be making over the next two weeks. The other thing we did, we did um, in January, we did swatches one, two, I think three, I can't even remember. We did the little love heart for Valentine's Day. We did two interviews. Oh my gosh. But we did that between January and February as well, by the way. Um, we did the sunshine bright blanket, which you saw here before over to the left hand side of me. And then in February, we did the Easter bag. We still haven't done the mystery poncho. We're going to be doing that in a couple of weeks time as well. Um, and we uh, haven't, I did upload one funny video and everything I talk about, you will see links of in the description box down below. So you can actually head off and try all these projects that you see or one of them or two of them or as many of them that you like. Okay. Now also we um, were supposed to, we did do the fingerless gloves. Yes, we did those as well. They will be in the description box down below. Occasionally you'll see me pop a few pictures up here and that's pretty much what I'm talking about at the time. Um, and we also did, uh, we were supposed to do a jacket, like a very easy rectangle jacket. I changed my mind and over there somewhere hiding under there is some hedge berry red. And that is uh, the Tandy yarn that we are going to be creating, the Tandy yarn jumper slash sweater, whatever you want to call it, um, with. So instead of making the, the jacket, we're going to use... Uh, the Tandiana and make a jumper instead all right but you know we will do a jacket further into the year but for now we're just going to focus on the Tandiana. these are things that i actually didn't plan and so when i don't plan them i i struggle to fit everything else in but we're definitely making the jumper with the Tandiana, so that's good and that's coming up actually that jump is coming up within the week get excited guys it is coming up within the week oh very exciting the month of March, we also, um, we, we were supposed to do the hexagon bag. Now that bag is getting started tomorrow. Oh, it's hexagon pieces put together to create a bag. And we are starting that tomorrow. When I say starting, we're going to make one hexagon piece. You're going to head off on your own. You're going to make the amount of pieces needed for the bag. And then on Monday, we will create the bag completely, we hope. <laughs> Join it together at least by Monday. Anyway, let's worry about that next week. But for now, let's just worry about today's video vlog is going up. Tomorrow, you're getting the hexagon pieces for your bag. All right. And what's going to happen in the month of April? All right. This month, we are making another funny video. 
you will see that's not a funny video it is a funny video but it's an unusual video that i don't think anyone's ever done so i think you might like it um it is funny it's different not oh it is funny <laughs> i was gonna say not funny but it is you'll find out it's coming this month um we are making a skirt uh, I've put down shawl, easy shawl. I don't think we'll make that this month. I don't think we'll get that in because we've got the jumper and we've got the Harry Styles top. We're going to make that this month as well. Um, and also this month, uh, we're not making any swatches this month because we are up to date now, swatches. If you're not sure about the swatches, we are making this swatch blanket of 2021. I might pop a couple of swatches up here now. Just a few of my favourites. Um, <laughs> a few of my favourites. Yes, I know. What do you do? I have favourites. Oh, don't tell anyone. Um, but these are my current favourite swatches. And in the future, you'll see some more swatches as well. Well, we have 25 swatches for the blanket it will be all created by November and in the end of November and in the month of December we're going to sew or crochet I haven't decided yet these swatches together and we are going to be putting a border row on it as well so it's going to be a gorgeous blanket okay a beautiful gorgeous blanket I'm so looking forward to that now that's what's happening this month but I know that's not what you're interested in. <laughs> I know what you guys have been waiting for. The giveaway. Let's check out the bag. What? <laughs> the bag is bigger than me. Hey, don't call me big. But the bag, <laughs> the bag is bigger than me almost. Seriously. I couldn't find my brown paper. So I've just popped them all in a bag for now. And I'm not going to tell you what's in there. There's a mixture of yarns. There might be a couple of buttons. I haven't decided. But when I say I haven't decided, I still haven't closed that bag up. And something else might go in that bag. Can you hear it? My regulars would know what this is. Newbies are about to find out. Oh, what? Australia's famous Tim Tam biscuits, cookies, whatever you want to call them. They're actually biscuits because they've got like that yummy yummy stuff in between oh, i love 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 and oh it fell in the bag but it fell um and that's going in the bag as well so i always put in tim tams every time i send gear overseas just be careful and read the pack at the back and make sure you check that you're not allergic to any of those items on uh in the uh, biscuit but otherwise enjoy it it's like just melts in your mouth <laughs> Okay, guys, now let's get sorted out for the giveaway. There are four rules to the giveaway. I'm sorry, guys, there's always rules. First rule is you must be a subscriber to enter. Now, that's a given, really. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, you know, it's too easy. Be a subscriber to enter. If you haven't subscribed to it right now, and it doesn't matter if you subscribe this very second, uh, secondly, you must answer the question. And thirdly, you can only answer the question once. And fourthly, you need to answer the question by the due date. Now we have, I always give ample time for my questions. And I always um, talk about the giveaways throughout the week of our um, channel here. I go on my Wednesday live, I go on my Saturday morning lives and I talk about the giveaway. Sometimes it's a Wednesday, Saturday and another Wednesday before a giveaway. So you've got ample time to enter. So now what's the question I hear you ask that you need to answer? Well the answer is going to be different for everyone. I love doing that because I think it's just super fantastic. It doesn't have to be correct either. It just has to be what your imagination thinks. All right, apart from the tin cans, okay. Now, again, you don't have to be correct to be a winner. You just have to be able to guess, okay. So the guessing part is fun. How many skeins of yarn do you think this pack contains? Now, it doesn't have to be correct. It just has to be a guess of what you think it contains. Now, the way it works when we do... When I draw the winner, I draw the winner from um, using a comment picker from YouTube. You know, they have their own little comment picker. And I will draw that yarn, regardless of whether your answer is correct or not. It's just a bit of fun question to answer for the giveaway. Because I like, I don't like 
to put in a question that everybody knows the answer to or everybody can just say exactly what the last person said. This one I make it a little bit more fun. So you have a bit of fun as well as win a prize. Now guys, if you've won a prize before, you can still win again. If you've never won anything, you can win. And if you live anywhere around the world, it doesn't matter. You can win. I will ship worldwide. So how cool is that? The four instructions you need, you must be a subscriber. You must answer the question. And the question is, how many skeins of yarn do you think is in that bag? You can only answer once and you must answer by the due date, which is... Are you ready? Friday the 16th of April. You've got tomorrow and a whole week to answer that question. So you've got tomorrow week, the 16th of April. It is a Friday. Friday afternoon, I will pop a little 10 minute video up doing the little giveaway thing and you'll get to see your name being called out through the comment picker. You will get to see the comment picker choose your name. How cool is that? What? <laughs> so just remember that guys if you've forgotten I will pop all those details right at the very end of this video but all I want to say to everyone today guys is thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys pretty much already do we have a lot of fun on our lives we do so many tutorials during the year this is a very very exciting time here for wow crochet designs also guys don't forget to join us on our website coming up very soon are our written patterns which is very exciting i know i say that all the time but they are coming they are i promise <laughs> and our website is www.wowcrochetdesigns.com head over to the website check it out have a little look see at what you can see. I think there's a one free pattern on there at the moment. I think it's a premi beanie or something. But a lot of a lot of the patterns are coming. Be patient, guys. There will be, as of this month, one pattern coming up every two or three weeks. Some uh, free and some will be paid patterns. And that's it, guys. You need to leave the answer to the question in the comment section down below of this video by Friday the 16th of April get too excited because I am and I always get excited during giveaways I sometimes get so excited that I start to shake <laughs> oh it happens thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and good luck everyone ciao for now